guys, it's Boki here from Juki Junkies, home of Gigi's Fabric Shop. And today's video is a super important one, and that is because if you're not familiar with the Juki DX7, this machine is super special and there's specials going on on this machine till the end of the year. So you definitely wanna take advantage of those specials that we have going on. So I figured let's do a really fun, simple video on five very important things you need to know about this machine if you're considering purchasing a new one. So if you've never seen this machine before, this is the Juki HCL DX7, and it's kind of like in a little series. It goes DX5, DX7, DX2000. You may have noticed we have a couple other videos on those machines and how we talked about the 2000 being one of the best bang for your buck machines. So check that out. We'll link it um, down in the description below, but these series of machines are wonderful. They're like that perfect in the middle of the road kind of computerized machine that offers a lot of features, a lot of accessories, and it can do a lot of different types of sewing. So the the machine itself comes with tons of things, so I want to highlight some very important features that is, is just incredible that's even on this machine for these price points. So um, we'll highlight those five things that makes this machine so special compared to some other Juki models that we've talked about in the past. All right, so the first feature, which I think is probably the most special on this machine, is the pivoting feature. The pivoting feature is a function that you can turn on in your settings, and it's really nice for my appliqueers, my top stitch, um, when you're top stitching, when you're doing curves, um, really anything where you find yourself having to readjust constantly. So like if you were working with a curve or if you're working with you know corners, you have to sew to that one spot and then stop, lift or press your foot up and adjust. On this machine, the pivoting feature spoils you in that sense because you can turn that feature on. It'll take the presser foot. When you take your foot off of the pedal, it's gonna lift the foot up automatically. Needle's gonna stay inside of the fabric and you can ab you're able to pivot with your hands, hands-free without touching anything. And then when you're ready and in position, you press on your pedal back again and it'll just start sewing back up. So it's a really fast time saver. You don't have to touch anything. It's adjustable. You can make it go higher if you want it to, lower if you want it to. I just think it's such a spoiling feature for top stitching in general. Um, even for my garment sewers, it's really nice for curves and things like that. So I'm gonna take this a little step deeper and I'm gonna show you how to um, set this function on your machine. To first be able to turn this function on, you're gonna to go to your little wrench and screwdriver and you're going to go to the second page. And this first one that's highlighted in black, this is where you can turn the function on and off. So once you have the setting complete, which I'll show you next, this is where you can turn it on and off according to the project that you need. For any settings on this machine, you're gonna notice the little wrench in the screwdriver. That's where you'll find a lot of the customization on this machine. You're gonna to scroll to the next page and you're gonna look for that little icon, the one that's highlighted in black. That's the one that's going to control your pivoting feature. You'll press okay and then all of a sudden you'll see the foot and you'll hear the foot prop up. Remember how I said this is adjustable? Standard is 2.0. That's kind of like the bottom of how you can adjust it, just enough for that foot to lift up. Really ideal for piecing. Now, if you wanted to take advantage of this feature for something thicker, you could always use this to make it go higher and you'll hear the machine bring up the foot. So here it is all the way max up. You can, I can almost fit my finger down there. That's at 6.0. I'm gonna put it back down so you just see how drastic that difference is. Putting it back down to two, look at that. So you can set it when you're okay with your setting, you're just going to press okay, your setting is complete and you're ready to rock and roll. Number two is going to be my second favorite. It is the floating function. And this feature is so incredibly cool because it's not something that you'll see like on the F series machines. This really helps you, you go through that variety of sewing that you're gonna do. So somebody who's looking for something that can do kind of a little bit of everything, right? I wanna do some bag making. I maybe wanna do some garment. I wanna do some quilting. The floating function is something that is adjustable to each one of those projects. So if you were working with something thick, you can raise up the presser foot a certain amount so that way you can feed through those thicker materials a lot easier. So this machine is very powerful and can do very thin fabrics to very thick things. So having that extra level of control is just gonna make working with thicker layers a lot easier. For example, I had someone who reached out to me and said they were looking for a machine to do um, jelly roll rugs and this is this is where I went. Because of that floating feature, you can you know raise up that foot so the machine can feed through those thicker layers nicer. In the perspective of my quilters, if you are quilting, machine quilting, free motion quilting, 
This is gonna be nice because sometimes you'll notice when you machine quilt, you'll find like a rippling effect in your quilting because there's too much pressure being applied. On most machines, you can't even adjust that. On this, you can, so let me show you how to use it. Quick little brain break. I wanted to go over a couple things before I show you guys how to do that feature. If you've been enjoying our YouTube channel, which I hear a lot, if you guys wanna be a little bit more connected with us, we have a couple other channels that you can completely take advantage of. Jukijunkies.com being the first one. That's where you guys can find thread, needles, all your Juki accessories, Juki machines. Anything that you really need is gonna be on there Juki related. Um, so feel free to give us a call too if you're trying to figure out that you know next machine for yourself. We're little matchmakers here, so feel Feel free to call us at 813-661-9000 and we'll make sure we match you up with the right machine or send us an email. You'll find that information in the description below. Another thing I'd like to reference is the Juki Junkies Facebook group. That is a private group with over 20,000 people in there where we filter through each person to try to keep it a very positive community. And no, you do not need to have a Juki to be in the group. If you're considering buying one, it's an awesome resource to be in. And last but not least, if you're looking for kits, fabrics, um, just really a good time, I host three live shows a week on Gigi's Fabric Shop dot live or we have an app and it's called Gigi's Fabric Shop as well so definitely download that app if you want to see more fun fabrics and kits I do so many kits and we do free sew alongs every month two free sew alongs each month so definitely want to see you guys on there so back to the regular program same thing with this one, you can turn this function on and off as you desire. So to turn it on and off, it, there's actually a little icon on the screen. So when you turn this on, you'll see it engage onto the screen and you'll hear the presser foot physically lift up. And then when you wanna turn it off, you just click there. Now for the adjusting, you can adjust this just like you can with the floating function. So we're gonna go into our little wrench and screwdriver, go to the second page again, and we're looking for this one because that matches this one, right? So it's kind of nice that they keep it all consistent. So we'll go to that one and make sure it's highlighted black, press okay. The highest they can go is two and a half and that's pretty high. I mean, even when I was doing that little video of me putting the material under, you would kind of need like two, four, six, maybe eight layers, maybe even more of cotton for it to really feel good between that gap. So that's a really good lift for heavy materials. Now, if you didn't need that much of a lift, you can always reduce this down you know, so that way you can set it according to what you're doing. I like playing with this function when I'm doing machine binding. Um, it really helps keep a nice, consistent, non-ripply type of machine binding. And I'll kind of set it about here so it's not too wiggly because you don't want the foot to be wobbling on top of the fabric. You still want there to be pressure, but lift it up just a little bit to give you um, a smoother experience. Number three is going to be the two-in-one stitch plate on this machine. So that's really nice and convenient and money-saving because on most machines, you'd either have to purchase a separate plate. Some machines don't even have a separate plate. So this one allows you to have two-in-one. What that means is it has the jelly bean plate where it looks like a little jelly bean or it looks like a little smile. That's where you can do all your stitches, all the decorative stitches. Then inside where the bobbin goes, there's a little tiny switch where you just flick that on and then there's a little cover that's gonna slide over the jelly bean plate to make it a single stitch. Again, this adds to the versatility of this machine. If you wanted to work with something thinner where it was getting sucked down into that large opening, turning that on would help. Um, and I feel like it just helps you get nice, consistent, stint, straighter stitches as well because the hole is a lot smaller and the thread has less wiggle room to move around. So very nice feature. It's gonna be super important that you guys take that plate off and clean underneath the machine just to pick up any unwanted lint. But well, while you're there, you have to remember since this plate is a two-in-one stitch plate, you wanna make sure it's always in jelly bean mode when you're taking the plate off. If you want a more in-depth video on this, we do have one on how to clean the computerized machines as well as how to remove the plates. So check that out in the description. Number four. Number four is going to be our programmable foot pedal. This is an awesome function because it, it's just, this machine is all about control. It's about you deciding what's better for you, setting up those things for whatever type of sewing you're doing. On most machines um, beyond or previous to this point, so like the F series, the G series, the foot pedal has that one function and one function only, even on the TL machines, which are mechanical machines. The front sews and the heel click does the thread cutting. So on this foot pedal, it's the same kind of concept, but you can decide what you want this heel to do. And you can choose up to seven different things that you want it to do. And one of those things being completely turning it off, which is nice too, because sometimes we don't want it to do anything, right? We don't want to accidentally engage this and do something. So forward means sewing, heel means whatever, one of those seven functions. So I'm going to show you guys those seven functions and how to set that up real quick. 
Alrighty, so to set up your one of seven functions, you're gonna go into that handy little settings again. Go to page number two, and you're looking for the one where it looks like the foot on the pedal, showing the arrow down. We're gonna press that, and here is where you can decide what you want it to do. So scroll through those pages, and you're gonna see all those functions. We have reverse, we have a lock stitch, we have needle up and down, we have a single stitch, then go to page two. We have our presser foot up and down, which is really unique. So kind of like the pivoting feature, if you wanna have more control, you can set it up with your foot pedal. You have your thread cutter, of course, and then the off button. So just set which one you'd like, press okay, and you're ready to go. All right, and number five, this one is just simply because it's just the best machine. It's such a great value. It's Gigi's favorite. This one's been at her house for a while. She just brought it back as she's moving. It's such a versatile machine. It allows you to do so many different things. And like I said, you take control on this machine. The price point on this machine is phenomenal, especially on top of all the specials we're gonna be having till the end of the year. Make sure you call to hear about those specials because they are, you can't pass it up. You can't pass it up. So make sure you do that. Um, I love the fact that you get so many different accessories with this, this machine. Unlike the TLs, usually with this, people don't have to get a bunch of different extra accessories. You get so many different things for quilting, for bag making, for apparel, you really kind of get such a well-rounded package. Comes with that extension table, comes with a knee lifter, a really nice hard cover that goes on the top of the machine. So it's just, it's just such a great place to start. It's a great upgrade. It's a great level up your sewing, do more and better and easier. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and sparked some interest in this beautiful machine. So don't hesitate to give us a call at 813-661-9000 to ask any questions and make sure this is the right fit for you and to hear those specials, of course. So head over to jukijunkies.com if you're ready to check out or if you need any accessories. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We've been like on a roll posting our videos lately, making sure we're getting them out every Sunday. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of our videos and share this with a friend. Maybe you know somebody who's looking for a new machine or you know, you're, you need to send it to your husband so that way he gets you the machine. <laughs> Christmas is around the corner. So I hope to see you guys soon and thank you so much. Comment down below because we love answering your guys' questions as well. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.